Directions. Graph the system of equations or inequalities. Use your graph to solve the system. So this first one, we do need to graph it. It says x plus y equals negative 2, and then negative x plus y equals 6. So this first one, we I'm going to come down here. We're going to have to solve it for y so that I can graph it. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides. So I'll get y equals negative 2 minus x. And then this is ready to graph because it already says y equals. So I'm going to start down at negative 2. And then from here, since this is a negative, it's kind of like a negative 1, we're going to go down 1 over 1, down 1, over 1, down 1, over 1. And now I'm ready to graph it. There we go. Okay, and then the next one, if I have negative x plus y equals 6, if I want to solve for y to get rid of minus x, I'm going to do plus x. So I'm going to get y equals 6 plus x. And again, it's ready to graph because it does say y equals. So I'm going to start up at 6. And then from here, I'm going to go up 1, over 1, down 1, over 1. So it's going to look something like that. There we go. Okay, and then I'm not done because remember when it says to solve by graphing that we actually have to find the break-even point. So that break-even point is going to be to the left, 4, and up 2. So it's going to be negative 4, 2. All right, the next one says... Um, y equals 1 half x minus 4, and y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 2. So this, these already say y equals, so I'm all set. So the first one I'm going to start down at negative 4, and then from there I'm going to go up 1 over 2, and then up 1 over 2, and then up 1 over 2. So it's going to be a line that looks something like that. And then the next one, I'm going to start up at 2. Oh, we always start at the one that doesn't have the x on it. Then I'm going to go down 3 over 4. I think it is it right down 3. Yep, over 4. Down 3 over 4. So it's going to be something like this. And if I'm looking again for where they, I break even, to me it looks like I'm at over four and a half, down negative one and a half. And your answer just needs to be something close to that. All right, number three, I have y is less than negative one half x plus three, and y is greater than or equal to four x minus one. And this one, since I have less than or greater than, I know I'm going to be shading. So just don't forget that. Um, we need some different colors here. Okay, my first one, I'm going to do a blue. I've got y is less than negative 1 half x plus 3, so I'm going to start at 3. And then I'm going to go down 1 over 2. Down 1 over 2. Down 1 over 2. It needs to be a dashed line because there's no equal sign there. Okay, and then if I test 0, 0, I'll get 0 is less than 3. That is true. So I'll use shade the side of the line that has zero, zero on it. Okay, get ready for a new color. Okay, on this one I'm going to use yellow. Okay, I'm going to start down at negative one. And then I'm going to go up four over one. Up four over one. And I get to make it a solid line because there is an equal sign. Whoops. Okay, and then we're going to test zero, zero. I get 0 is greater than or equal to negative 1. That is true. 0 is bigger. The mouth is eating the bigger number, so I'm going to shade the side of the line that has 0, 0 on it. So I'm going to shade this whole side of the yellow. And then we just want to look for where are there both colors this time. Okay, it's going to be bounded by that dotted line and the solid line. And then it's going to be that portion right there. Okay, next problem. First equation is x is less than or equal to 2. I know that an x equals line is a vertical line because it's opposite of the x-axis. And it's going to be a solid line because there's an equal sign there. Okay, and then if I plot test 0, I'll get 0 is less than or equal to 2. That is a true statement. So I'll shade the side of the line that has 0, 0 on it. Okay, now let me switch colors again. If I do this one, we'll start up at 6. And then I need to go down 
three over two down three over two so i'm ready i'm going to do a dashed line this time because there's no equal sign and if i test i'll put zero and zero in there i get zero is bigger than six and that is not true that zero is bigger than six so i'm not going to shade the side with zero zero i'm going to shade the other side and actually this time it only looks like there's a little thin slice where both colors are so let me get my okay and it's going to be starting the solid line and then this dashed line and then it's this little slice right here would be where my answers are because that's where both colors were and voila we got those ones